Welcome to the shortwave radio channel, and uh, we're going to talk about something else called a pre-selector. Um, I think in the video that I made about the antenna tuners, a lot of people mistake an antenna tuner and a pre-selector, which is not the same thing. And yes, a passive pre-selector does a huge difference on many radios, and but it's not the same thing. Um, it's interesting because a lot of people are commenting that, no, no, it makes a big difference to tune, to have an antenna tuner for receive. And no, it doesn't on HF frequencies. Uh, actually, if you look at all the parameters of how much attenuation a mismatch does on shortwave, it's so small that you barely see it on an S meter. Um, the thing is, is first of all, once again, get out of your mind that an antenna tuner tunes your antenna. It doesn't. Your antenna, if it has to be tuned, means it's not resonant and it's not good for the frequency you're listening. Your antenna tuner just fixes a mismatch. It doesn't tune it, doesn't it make it better in any way. An antenna tuner has a wrong name. It's not a tuner, it's once again an impedance matcher. So what's a passive preselector or what's a preselector? That is a very different. It preselector is a bandpass filter. What it does is when you tune to a frequency, the preselector will also tune to that frequency to be uh, resonant, to pass as much of that frequency as possible, while blocking everything on each side. So the preselector, and I, I'm pretty sure that a lot of people that say that they have less noise when they uh, use an antenna tuner, probably use a preselector. And because, yes, you'll have a possibility of getting less noise since now you're concentrating on the main frequency you're tuning and you're blocking pretty much everything on each side. The preselector on very expensive, very good receiver, a preselector does not help that much. Maybe a little bit in the noise department. Um, most of the time, preselectors are f good at radios that have problems with. For example, uh, bandpass filters that are really too wide. So if your bandwidths are too wide and you get too much on each side. Uh, also, it is great if your radios overload all the time. If your radio tends to overload a lot, the preselector will often fix part of that problem because it will block out the very strong signals that are on the same band but uh, further away up or down the frequency you're tuning. So if there is one thing that you should have or you could have that would possibly improve your shortwave receive, it's not an antenna tuner. That will not improve much or if anything. It's a preselector, and this will improve a lot uh, on many, many radios. Um, it's interesting to think also that sometimes radios that have been designed with rather bad front ends uh, will have a preselector because they know that there's a flaw and the preselector is there to try to fix it. An example of that is the Radio Shack DX300, 300, 302. It comes with a preselector because its front end is so bad at rejecting very strong signals on each side that the internal preselector they put is there to try to help and cope with that type of problem. So a preselector, definitely, that could be a add-on to your um, shack especially on radios that overload easily. Um, but the more you go into high-end receivers, the less it will be apparent that it could be interesting because uh, the more expensive the receiver, the more it can cope with strong signals, overload, and all of that. But whatever radio you have, a preselector can help, and it can actually lower some of the noise at the same time. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.